Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're doing well. We've got a, a lager to review. It's a Jamaican lager. And it's quite a famous one. It's the Red Stripe. Red Stripe Jamaican lager beer coming in at 4.7% ABV. Uh, brewed in the UK by Heineken. Um, under license from uh, Desnos and Geddes in Jamaica. Um, says it contains water, malted barley, glucose syrup, hops and hop extract. So the ingredients sound very cheap. 4.7% ABV. I'm sure most of you have had Red Stripe or seen Red Stripe at some point on your travels. Um, I've not drunk it for ages. So uh, I picked one up in my local corner shop. This stuff is available most places, to be fair. You can pick it up all over the shop. Um, I picked the can up at this uh, in my local corner shop because I haven't had it for a while. I fancied trying it. I thought we'd make a good review as well. Um, so there we go. There's the Red Stripe can. And there's the Red Stripe beer in the glass. Really good levels of carbonation on that one at the moment. Look at all that roaring out the middle of the glass. That's actually quite promising. Uh, head is really small. It's barely half a, a finger of quite a compact white looking head left of that. But I'm impressed with the carbonation. That's encouraging. But other than that, as you expect, it's a crystal clear, pure gold looking lager. Let's get me snout in. See what sort of aroma we are dealing with. As you expect, subtle, sweet citrus. Bit of barley malt character. And bugger all else. Um, yeah, I mean, once you've had a mass-produced lager, you've pretty much... Well, I'll rephrase that. Once you've smelt a mass-produced lager, you've pretty much smelt them all, haven't you? So, and to be fair, the aroma on this has already died down considerably since I poured it. Barely an aroma to speak of now. A bit of subtle barley malt character, a bit of subtle sweet citrus on it, but nothing else really. Um... But that carbonation is still boring out in the middle of the glass. So I'm going to get stuck in. So cheers. Yeah. <laughs> First thing I'm tasting is the glucose. That sweetness, that added sweetness. The unnecessarily sweet and it ruins the rest of the flavour for me. <sighs> Mouth feels alright. Um, it's crisp. It's refreshing. But you're left with that glucose flavour. That sweetness. That artificial sweetness. Unnecessary additive. I don't know why they put it in. Whenever you read... The beer ingredients, and you see the word glucose syrup. Why? I always get alarm bells. Alarm bells always go off, go off in my head. It's such an unnecessary thing to do, and it when they do it, it just either they they don't believe in the recipe as it is naturally, so they add it to it, or they just don't know what they're doing. I don't know. Why add glucose syrup to a lager? <coughs> Excuse me. It says on the can, serve ice cold. That's always another worrying sign. When a can, when a beer encourages, encourages you to drink it ice cold, it usually means they're trying to hide something. Um, to be fair, this is ice cold, but I'm still getting that glucose syrup flavour. It's crisp. It's thirst quenching. It's a little bit of barley malt character, a bit of flavour there from the malt. Tiniest little bit of a sort of a honeyed lemon flavour there, slightly floral. But the main thing I'm tasting is that glucose syrup. It's the sort of flavour you get on a lot of the strong lagers, you know, like your Carlsberg special brews and your um, your Kestrel extra strength and things like that. It's just that's that sort of overly sweet flavour that you get on a lot of those. Which makes those beers taste bloody horrible. <sighs> the 
the bitterness at the back end is slightly unpleasant as well because that glucose syrup flavour kind of runs into it. Um, which finishes the beer, unfortunately, badly. Because up until then, it's actually quite nice. The mouth feels nice. The, the crisp citrus flavour, that nice um, bit of barley milk character you get is good as well. Um, and because it's ice cold, it's refreshing. And then when you swallow it, you're then left with that... that glucose syrup and dodgy tasting bitterness at the back end it just ruins it ruins the beer <sighs> nah the more i drink the less i'm enjoying it that that, that can't i can't get away from that that finish now that started to become the overriding flavor in my mouth that overly sweet bitterness um it's an odd it's an odd little um mixture they've gone with at the end there to have the glucose syrup and the bitterness so close together at the back is is, is odd um yeah i will finish this bum it's not disgusting it's not quite a drain pour um but i certainly wouldn't drink another one if someone, if I went around to someone's house or a house party, remember the days we could do that. Um, if I went around to a mate's house or a house party or something, and they had a crate of red stripe, I'd walk straight back out. Again. <laughs> I'd walk down the nearest shop and get a, a, a crate of something else because um, I couldn't be drinking this all evening. Nah, it's not good. It's not very good. Um, red stripe, Jamaican lager beer. I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10. Half of it's good. The rest of the half's bad. If that makes any sense. Crisp, refreshing, overly sweet, and unnatural bitterness at the back end makes for a horrible finish. And it makes me personally not want to go back to it. So there you go. So 4 out of 10 for Red Stripe. Hope you've enjoyed the review, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.